What's up? <clears throat> Say hi, everyone. Antler's foot, Jane Lee. Hey. We are at the storage unit here. Um, and we, <laughs> don't be rude, Bob. Um, and we are gonna start Christmas because why not? Why not? Um, so we're gonna get everything out. What are you looking forward to getting, Antler? Um, everything. Everything. Jane Lee, what about you? little Christmas tree for our bedroom. Mm -hmm. Romance tree. And I want my Christmas mugs. Yes, Christmas mugs. And all the things. All the things. Get that foot out of my face. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It is a Monday, the 12th, the 13th. Um, I have the busiest week I've ever had uh, at my day job. So literally 17 meetings between external and internal meetings. Um, I did set up a new little office space. So I put in this monitor, which was in my mom's basement, um, and hooked it up. So I got a new little space here so I can kind of <sighs> do things better. Um, I haven't always been like, I didn't always think I needed a second monitor, but now that I have one, I'm like, yeah, I get it. I get it. Um, we did decorate for Christmas, which you can't quite see here. Hold on. So you can see here, we did decorate. Um, this is our little this is like our living room, I guess, and my office in one. Um, so we did decorate. That was fun at the um, getting the storage and everything. It's a little bit of a hassle, but I will say it's not the worst thing ever. Like having stuff in storage. It's really not. It's, it's, it's not a big deal. Um, but I want to go on a mini rant here really quick. So let me let me settle down for this one. All right. So here's my mini rant. Something I see in the community that happens that drives me a little nuts. So, um, I see this, honestly, I don't know if it's just a trans community thing, but I definitely see it in the broader human community as well. And this is the concept that I feel like I was brought up believing that you try to make things better for your kids. And I believe that that's what, you know, my family tries to do. Um, but I also feel like there's this underlying layer. Like, I think all people, if you ask a parent, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, like, that's what I do. Like, I work really hard so my kids don't have to, right? Like, even that line. How many people have heard that line? But what I notice is that there's this underlying, there's like a thread within that sentence. Like, one of those spaces in between each word holds a lot and that lot is all around the fact that I the older the elder had to work really hard to do my job and I had to work the weekends and I had to work nights and when someone like me a, like the younger generation is like I don't want to have to work weekends and nights what you get met with was listen you know I had to work weekends and nights and that's what you had to do to, to make it work and da 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 right like to to do all of this stuff, right? I didn't have babysitter. I didn't have this, right? And you're like, well, I wanna, I wanna like have a babysitter and be able to like go out to dinner with my partner. And they're like, well, you know, the first four years of our relate, you know, when you were born, we didn't go out one time, right? And I see this in the trans community as well, being, you know, like even myself, right? Like, oh, in order for me to get hormones, I had to, you know, take a day off of work and I had to go all the way into the city and I had to pay for the train. Then I had to get into the subway and I pay for the subway. And you know what I mean? Then I had to go in and I had to sit for like three hours to get my appointment. And, you know, I had to do that like seven, six, seven times before I even got, you know, even considered for tea, right? Um, and it's really, in and, or even like, I had to wait this many years to get my top surgery. You know, you waited six months, right? Um, it doesn't, st all of those instances don't sound like it was harder for me and I hope that it's not as hard for you, right? And so 
It's so interesting when I talk to other trans elders, I'll call them elders as far as like when the year in which they transition, not necessarily their age, you know, they talk about how like, how easy some trans people have, right? And like, they're like, oh, like no one was around. Nobody was there to say anything to me and help me and guide me. I couldn't look towards anybody. And I just like, I try my hardest not to be that person. I definitely tell my story and I'm going to become more and more conscious of this, but don't be that person. Like, don't be the person who literally just wants, like, it's like, I had to work that hard so you should have to too. I, I feel like it should be like, I had to work that hard so you don't have to. Now you don't have to do all of those things. Now you can get your HRT at like your local, you know, you live in a, you know, a metro area, like you can go to your local doctor and get it. You can, there's smaller places you can go to get your HRT. You can get your HRT through telehealth, right? Oh my gosh, like you don't even ever have to like step in inside of a clinic, you know? Um, these are all great, amazing things. Like, and I just, I don't see enough trans elders really excited for the younger communities. I just don't see it. And I'm encouraging us to be more enthusiastic. You know, I had to work nights and weekends. I don't want you to have to do that. Don't do that. Go, do your thing. Have a good time. Don't work five days a week, work four. Get paid double what I got paid to work for. You know, that's that's like where we should be. That's where we should be living. So that's my rant. And I have to actually, I have to get back to work. It's hard to do. What's up everybody so i is the 15th and i just got out of a very dark hole with gentle music playing laying down on a comfy bed um now i was putting antler to sleep and so right now our practice is we put our pajamas on we shower every other day then we'd brush our teeth and I read a book or two. And then he always asks me to just lay with him till he falls asleep. And that's like, you know, 10 minutes or so. Um, sometimes a little longer, not usually any less than 10 minutes. And it's really cute because lately he's been asking me f to play um, Stay Awake, the Mary Poppins one. Um, so it's really cute. And also I... I walk out like, what is life? Because um, I'm like, I could go to bed right now. It's 724. I could definitely be sleeping. Um, but I'm alone tonight until Jane Lee gets home. She had, she works at a healing center downtown. And so she had a session followed by a pendulum training. So she gets done at like 8. So she'll probably be home at like 830 or something. But um it's Trans Awareness Week. So besides my rant earlier in the video, um, I was just, it was thinking about how when I started this channel, there was no such thing as Trans Awareness Week. I mean, I did not Google when Trans Awareness Week started. There was Transgender Day of Remembrance. And I think at some point, Transgender Day of Remembrance was is the 20th of November. And I think at some point it just... People were like, what even is that? What's that about? And I feel like somebody sometime somewhere was like, oh, let's just make this Trans Awareness Week and then it leads up to Transgender Day of Remembrance. So um, 
Transgender Day Remembrance will always be a very special holiday in my heart. It's something I've s celebrated slash mourned um, since I think pretty much, if not the first year I identified as trans, but very shortly after, maybe possibly the second year, I've done different talks. I've gone to an event almost every single year um, for 2020. Jenny Lee and I kind of hosted our own little virtual event um, just to read the names and light some candles. Um, so if you have an opportunity to go to a T-Door event, I highly suggest it. I will say it can be super emotional, but also it's important. I feel like it's really important for us to know how many people suffer and are killed because of their courage to be trans. And it will always blow my mind that somebody would literally kill another human being because they, they don't like, they don't like how they dress or using a pronoun that they don't agree with or a name. Like it just, I can, I just, I don't get it. I can't, I can't relate on any, in any single way. Um, as much as I might disagree with someone, as much as I literally can think that that person is harmful to others, I just don't, uh, I don't, I just can't, I can't, I can't get on board with, uh, with that. So that's happening. And next week is my 5k. So I'll be doing a virtual 5k on Friday. You can sign up below. Um, and also we'll be doing an in-person 5k here on the island. I'll put that below as well. Um, so Friday is the day after Thanksgiving for those who celebrate. So it's going to be Friday at 10 a.m. virtually on my Instagram. And then I'll be doing uh, in-person on 10 a.m. on Saturday. So I was like two 5Ks back to back. But I mean, it's, I walk. I've walked with Jane Lee like two miles. A 5K is like 2.3. So I feel like between walking and running, I'll probably get it done in an hour. That's like my goal, which is not not a big goal. Like I, the people who actually run could probably do a 5K in literally like, 18 minutes or something. I don't I don't actually know. I'm putting that out there. Um, so if you want to join in, it's virtual. It's for my nonprofit Point of Pride. I guess I should also say that Point of Pride Surgery Fund is open right now until the end of November. Across all of our programs, we've given away over a million dollars, which is really cool to say. I get really excited about that. And if you are someone who is looking to give back, um, you could become a community grant-making fellow and help us review applications to pick those individuals who uh, have the most barriers to accessing uh, gender-affirming surgery. Um, so you can become that. It's about two to three hour commitment, depending on how many applications you'd like to put in. There is a like process you have to go through to be approved to be a CGF, as we call them. Um, you, I'll put all of this in the description box below, but wow, I've been talking for a while. Um, yeah, so all all this to wrap up this vlog is that I've been really still enjoying these vlogs. I wasn't sure if I was going to stop doing them, if I'm being completely honest. I, I'm i just not, you know, this has been more of like, a, I don't know, I want to turn this more into a diary that was where I started and where I want to get back to instead of it being, I mean, I love to inform people and I wouldn't say that my past channel was performative because I've always worked my hardest to be authentically me. But I also think that it was performative in the sense that I felt like I had to have all this new content. I felt like I had to constantly be giving something. Um, and I just, I, I want to go back to diary vlogs, you know, just talking about stuff. Um, so, yeah, so this is my, I'm doing this for me, mostly. <laughs> I love and appreciate all of the support along the way and all of the viewers. So thank you so much. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or you have any topics you want me to talk about, feel free to leave a comment. 
Otherwise, I appreciate y'all, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.